Recipe for turnabout. That's enough. This court sees no reason to prolong this trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpreting of the facts. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard here are conclusive. The victim was alone at the table when he drank from that cup. No, you're wrong. I know what I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw someone else there, a man. He's the real killer. Phoenix? Why won't anyone believe me? Well, I'd say that pretty much wraps this case up, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright? This card finds the defendant... Guilty. The court is adjourned. What the fuck was that? Ah, the start of a new year always makes me feel like I can make- I can take on the whole world. I bet it does, Maya. So I've decided that our resolution should be... Zavari! Take on the world! What do you think? Sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you've had enough mistletoe, mistletoe cake. Never! You've got to eat a whole lot of cake- a lot of cake during New Year's. It's practically a tradition. Like watching the fireworks on TV. Or playing a board game. Hey, pal. Detective Gumshoe? Happy New Year, Detective. Uh, likewise. No, listen up, right? I want to. It's another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. All right, pal. You've got some explaining to. Have you got a holiday present for me, Detective? A what? What? Well, I don't know. Here, have this. It's really nothing much, but... Yay, thanks. Look, pal, we have to talk. Take a seat. Hey, what about Pearly? You haven't forgotten her present, have you? Uh, no, I mean, yes. I mean, no. Are you doing this on purpose? I <laughs> guess I'm busted. How do you like my first practical joke of the year? Very funny, pal. Now let's see how funny you think it is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Hey, I want to see. Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney Wright trounced. Trounced? Let me see that. I haven't lost a case. The defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. What the heck is this? It's a report, pal, about you. Listen to this. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case. Well, and don't you... Well, don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. But I don't remember anything about it. When was that to issue from anyway? Um, December of last year, which I guess it makes it uh, last month. Which makes it old news, you mean? Well, I wasn't involved in a poisoning case in December. I was a little busy doing nothing. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, do you think about this? Uh, about this? Uh, what? So, what do you think this is all about, Nick? If it wasn't you, pal, then that leaves only one possibility. Someone's framing me. For some reason. You don't mean... A phony? A phony Nick? This must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke. Guess he's starting off the year with one, too. So what are you gonna do about it, pal? An article from December 5th says I was trounced and my client was found guilty. Why does someone want to destroy my reputation? Doesn't make sense. What do you mean? What am I going to do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty in this case. I didn't take a case. You were with me. My fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now. Well, maybe. No, sort of. But yeah, see what happens when you hotshots start getting too full of yourselves. But I didn't do anything wrong. At least not that I can remember. 
You better make this right, pal, now. And that means taking the case back to court, got it? Sounds like we've got our first case of the new year and let's tackle it with gusto. Oh no, the judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. I guess the New Year's resolution's going to have to wait until next year. Well, I mean, if this really was in America, you could get it through appeals court really quickly if you can prove that the defendant in or the defense attorney intentionally fucked you in your defense and that you didn't get proper representation. You'll get it, you'll get that overturned really quickly, actually. Or at least a retrial. So you're taking the case, right? Good, I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. If a client entrusts a case to me based on my reputation, I guess I am kind of responsible. He didn't even, like, call the number, you know, call Phoenix Wright. Like, do, do I not have billboards everywhere? Come on. Well, I'm probably not that famous. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of a guy would do that? Let's go down to detention. Good old lockup. How's it going? It's so nerve-wracking, waiting to meet our new client. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Keep it down, Maya. That kind of talk could ruin me. Ah! How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? Oh, it's you from last case. Or last year. Or last game. They put me in solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Aren't you... Yes, I am. I'm totally and utterly let down. You're... Are you? Don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie. Remember? Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird. Fired? Fired. Bird. It's Bird. I know why you're in a waitress uniform type thing. Maggie Bird, she's the police woman I defended that one time. She did step down though, so that's to be fair. She's accused of murdering her lover. Her he was a cop too. What are you doing in here? Didn't I get you acquitted? Oh sure, very funny. After that fifth rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes. Better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick. Oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. Vaguely remember her saying that exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? At least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. I don't care about her. Can you actually talk about who me is? So how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? Last year you looked so sharp in that police uniform. Hmm. I was fired after that incident last year. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. So what do you do now? In the second half act of the life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and shapely figure come, came through for me. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. And you got into this mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put it that way. This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. It happened at Tres... Tre, tre bien? Tre bien? Fucking... Tre... Be, be, bien? Yes, it's a restaurant where a good service and friendly smile are always included. What's with all these French words this game? <laughs> Why are they determined to make me not be able to say a single sentence? Oh. There are two men at the table, both drinking coffee. And then? One of the men slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim took just one sl sl sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked I passed out. Hey, I'll hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. I've never seen the guy before. Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him, then, I guess. 
And the other man, the killer. You saw him, right? Of course, good waitresses must be attentive to the clienty clientele. So you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway. How come? You can't remember his name. You tell me, Mr. Wright. Ah, I guess the answer to my question is my phony. Anyway, you saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. So if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. So? Saw what? That doesn't mean anything. The other man, the one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way, Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at this table the whole time. But how's that possible? I don't know, but nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. Even Phoenix Wright, my la one last hope for a fair trial failed me. What a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job. Look, that wasn't me, okay? And then, they found something a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? A small bottle of poison. A little? What? Poison? It was in your pocket? Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison in my pocket when I was unconscious. And no one else saw the other guy. No, sir. That's what everyone said. But I don't see how they could have missed him. What does the other guy look like? I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Oh. And what was your impression of them? There should be a receipt. Uh, you probably... There should be some record that there were two people there. <laughs> like, yeah. You had to take an order, you have to log the order in the back. They would have had a ticket for it. That two people, that two cups were ordered. Unless just one person ordered something. Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo... emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. A earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. Fucking hammer. They must have been preparing for their de debut, I guess. And so it was a band CD. Maybe a promo disc. Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. MC Wrench. Get serious, Maya. Would you buy the CD of a group named that? Yeah, obviously. Fucking screwdriver sounds terrible. What was the name of the group again? MC Hacksaw? No, MC. MC. What about the killer? What would he look like? <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a fucking MC Hammer. Please! Please! Well, I, um, I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man, well built like the victim, really. I present do anything. Nothing in profiles. Oh yeah, I need to ask you about this. Hey, that's the article about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who is pretending to be me? Uh, yes, sir. It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you in the visitor's room here. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Suits. Me. Hey, suit. When? What? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Uh. Hey, Maggie. Was my evil double I I I am? Oh God, it's spelled back. I am here too. Oh God. I don't know how to spell it. I say Maya backwards. I am. No, I don't remember phoning you, Maya. Well, that should have fucking tipped you off that it wasn't. Uh, it would have been so cool. Then you got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you cleared of this crime, you said. Okay, I get the picture, but you've met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize that guy wasn't the real me? I guess looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little. Well, okay, so maybe you were a bit taller than normal, and you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird, uh, and you had a funny accent, so the guy was nothing like me then. 
But he did have here has spiky hair and blue suit. Is that all it takes for someone to impersonate me? Into, imitate me? Whatever. How about everyone else in the courtroom, like, uh, like the judge and the observers? Didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their face. It seemed no one wanted to say anything, sir. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Yeah, you just proved that your defense attorney uh, intentionally fucked you over. Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Uh, Mr. Wright? Hmm? Do you think we'll win next time? Sir, obviously. My life has been a full course meal of bad luck. Complete with a, complete with a defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of food, failed in almost every test I've taken, experimented almost every kind of disaster experience. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. But... We will survive, because Maggie Bird always lives to find another day. And one day I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment uh, of good luck. Uh, I... what? Zen... If, is really gonna pay for this? Oh, Phoenix. What are you staring at me for like that for? But Maya's right. Whoever it is that thought it was a good idea to use my name and got an innocent girl convicted of murder had better watch out. We'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll get <laughs> We'll get him for you. Thank you, and uh, I'll tell you where Trey Bien is. Trey, uh, right. The restaurant where the murder took place. Yes, sir. When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. I'll tell him that you're going to be late for work for a little bit. Sure, all right, Nick. Let's go check out this restaurant and its food. Of course, my. Trey Bien. This is way too bright. Wow, look at this place. Look, more like smell. What is with the suffocating scent of flowers in here? Then again, girls like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not all that into it. Thanks. No one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant. It's open for business. Hello, anyone here? I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. Yeah, I suppose we can. <laughs> this place is a rack full of fashion magazines. And they're all in French. Why don't you try wearing uh, something a bit more chic uh, sometime, huh, Maya? Eh, yeah, I guess maybe I could. I'm always in my uh, acolyte uh, clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and then. Huh? There's something stuffed beneath the behind the rack. Looks like a sports paper. A sports paper to me. Hey, and look at this. Someone uh, scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. MC Bomber. And one, two, three, four, five zeros. Hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars? Maybe. Wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. And this paper. It's from December third. This paper is from the day of the poisoning. Why the hell did they not get rid of this? Fucking chuck it down a sewer. 
What? I can just slide that thing in a grate, be done with it. It's gone. Paper from the day of the murder. This has got to be a clue. I should see if I can find out some more about this paper. Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. If I missed Armstrong, I collected all of the, these personally. Let's see, a bouquet of flowers, some potpourri, and look, find a uh, bone at China Cups. I never knew you are so cultured. Come on, Maya, this is common knowledge, any Joe Shumo knows this much. I have had too much detective at me. Look, it's one of those magical boxes that spits out money. You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register in that way. Magic. If only it would spit money at me. This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so, with all this police tape all around it. Why is it still here? The trial's over. And that stain must be from the poison coffee cup. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. And why can I picture you doing just that? This table's set nice, lady. It still needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not sunflower, I don't think. Duh, even I could have told you that. Well, those are the only kind of flowers I know. Dang it, but I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. Helpful. Let's present this thing to her. Oh, a sports paper. Let's see, let's see. Did Gutsen Braun manage to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie, that paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gutsen got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine Racket Tribune. Really? That's strange. Trabian doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind. Anyway, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Aha! That's it, sir! MC Bomber! That was the name that was written on the CD. Just as I thought. I guess it was an MC Screwdriver after all, huh? So that $100,000 must have been a down payment for a record deal, right? More like a signing deal, but sure, down payment. If someone gave me a hundred thousand, I'd sing for sure. The Master of Korean, or the Spirit th Song, or even Maya's theme. Uh, okay, Maya. So if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means the newspaper must have belonged to the victim. You're right. So the victim left this behind on the day of the murder, huh? I think we better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? Criminal affairs. It's been ages since we came down to the precinct, huh? It looks like Gumshoe isn't around. He's got it so easy leaving everyone else to do the work. No, he's out there somewhere. My bed is on, uh, is on the courthouse. He's probably trying to rearrange arrange the retrial in this case. Guess that's what... That means we should go to the detention center and chat with our killer, huh? After being convicted without a fair trial. I'm not sure killer is the right label. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One second. He got, a, he got a little partner. Hey, that's the police mascot, isn't it? It's so cute. That's the blue badger. It was my idea, I made it, and now it's the national symbol of the police force. So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she, right, Chief? Yep, meet the pink badger. So this one's called blue, and the other's called pink. But they're both called Badger. You got it, they're married. Ah, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Badger. Seem to be cuffed together, Chief. 
You got it. That's marriage for you. Goddamn bitch stole everything. Whoa, mascot that's deeper than the deepest in the deep oceans. This must be the chief on the detectives here. He's going to do his computer screen. What? Master Mass turned up at the bank? What's he doing? Hands off, you scallywags. You're under arrest. Hey, that's our job. Looks like Ronda Light's opted for a new career. Quit surfing the net, chief. Sorry, no, it was just a... Uh, things feel pretty tense in here. <laughs> ah, amazing. Uh, can I actually talk to her any more than I have? Uh, I have nothing to present, do I? Oh, if I present this? That badge, is it real? Of course it's real. That's what they all say. But I've been duped before. Give it to me for a second. Ah. Trump. She, she bit into it. I left a few teeth, mar teeth marks too. I can see that. I just wish I could remember if that means it's real or fake. <sighs> I said it was real. There's nothing else I can really talk to her, though. Oh la la, bonjour, welcome to la Travian. I don't have a French accent, so fuck it. Oh, hello. What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. Bienvenue. I don't know how to say that in French. Stop speaking French. Welcome to my petite little restaurant. Uh, Bay Avenue? Oh, no. Non my pied de julep. What? Oh, God, I hate this. I hate this. Why does it have to be French? Of all the fucking languages, it's a fucking French. Me? Look at his face. Like the, <laughs> like the kitchen rejected by its own mother. You're fatigued, non? Arroz, you need this. An aromatic bath oil. Marone of la Niore. Oh my god, what is this? And la rose. My personal recommendation. You think I need what? Oi, oui, oui. Just add a couple of drops of this mixture to la bath water and voila. It will soothe your body and your mind. It's simply fantastic. Really? And for la monsieur. Who? Me? Look at that face. Like the puppy rejected by life itself. You're fatigued, non? For you, monsieur, I recommend these. Oil of bermond. And maybe a little oui, oui. I'll add la peppermint and la cutter salary sage for a fragrance exceptional. Such an invigorating recipe. We'll bring out your delicious beauty, Monsieur. My beauty, what the fuck are you on? I hate all of these words. I don't know what any of these words are. Hello. If you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. My bien, sir. What, what, what is any of these? Why? Why don't I know any French? I know these already, Monsieur. You are La Phoenix, right, Molo? Um, yes. You know me? I owe you, I never forget a man who flirts with me, especially in court. I guess he was cross-examined by our mysterious fake Phoenix. Looks like everyone to do <laughs> everyone to do with this case already knows who I am already. Wonder what sort of uh, impressions been he's been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Juan Armstrong. Enchanté. Why do I have to do this? I'm going- This is actually worse. Can I just have Lotta instead? This is actually terrible. This is awful. This is- <laughs> This is actually terrible. I wanna die. So what is Trey Bienman? I know Trey. That means three, right? No, no, no. Trey Bien is Francais. In English, you would say very good. Oh, very good. We oui, excel, exterminate. Uh, what the what? Exterminate? What? The atmosphere is très bien, and la cuisine très bien. If the food's so good, why aren't there any customers in here? My cuisine not all for all. Some people they don't not appreciate the hot, uh, hot cuisine. <laughs> I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. 
Since I lost to Maggie, I don't have enough hands. So you're running this place on your own now? Oui, for that moment. No one has answered my advertisement. Oh, poor Muir. Please don't eyeball me while saying that. I'm La Chef and La Manager. I'm also a trained uh, <laughs> erythropist. A roaming what? A practitioner there of erythropathy. The art of soothing La Soul with the delicate floral aromas. Delicate? The smell coming from that bottle earlier was anything but. Oh my god, this is awful. This is awful. This is awful. I want, I want to crawl in a hole and die. So could you tell me what you know about the incident? Yeah, and it makes me sad to remember it, yet I remember it so well. More than a month has passed since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. So it was the third of the month after one of the afternoon. A man who was in here for a coffee suddenly became ill. Because the poison has coffee. It's uh, the truth, as I know it, it was Maggie who took his uh, drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what it was, uh, already slumped out in the chair. He was dead? Mon dieu, he was dead. Maggie had passed out also. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. You wouldn't have known, though. You were in the kitchen. You would not have seen if he had someone at his table. I know that Maggie said there was someone else in the butt. I see. The police as they asked me many times. Are you sure there's no one, no one else at the table? They asked. But I'm not the only one. The old man said the same thing. Old man? What do you mean? What old man? <laughs> this... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh.